Okay, I'm back. And I haven't really been watching too much of what's going on. So I'm just going to read it with you. <laughs> Discover everything with you. So this obviously is in bed with. And yeah, I've been having a lot of, you know, back issues, lower back, right leg, which makes sense because I was on one of those medicine balls, kind of a Pilates ball, you know, trying to do poses on a Pilates ball, but also stretching my back out. And I lost footing, my footing on it. And it, I flew off of it and into a table on my right side. And so ever since then, I've been in a lot of pain. So I see the chiropractor, I get massages. Well, I haven't had one, a massage in a while. It was like a few weeks ago. Ugh, so I do stretches every night for that. But, you know, it's a bitch. It's a bit, Getting old sucks. It just does. Okay, so I guess Black China's lawyer grills Kim Kardashian. And it's very funny because from what I gathered, she does voice to text like I do, like most people do. I just don't have the patience to type everything out. And so even on social networking, it just comes out all wrong. And so people think I'm really freaking stupid, but you know, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> but it's voice to text. And so I have to remind people like, you know what? I'm not gonna sit there and type all night. If I wanna say something, I just wanna say it, it will be there. But voice to text does get it wrong a lot. And so um, Black China's attorney grilled Kim. And as I said, she's not someone I look up to or admire or respect in any way, shape, or form. Not even as a businesswoman because she stole someone else's thing. Spanx was somebody else's thing, you know? And then she just changed the name of it and, and added a few more styles and colors. So I just don't think of her as somebody. And yeah, when if she had a makeup line or a perfume line... Other people create that and they're like, oh, well, you're famous, so let's put your name on it. So I just don't have respect for her. I think she's a grifter. <laughs> I think her whole family is grifters. Um, that's just my view. But the Skims founder, bitch, please, you didn't find it. It was there already. You changed the name and then she stole this bra idea from somebody who already had it, who already had a patent on it. And then she ended up suing her and she stole the name from one of her fans, you know, skims and the fans like, hello, I thought of that name, but she won't give her any credit. So she doesn't care what she has to do. She just wants money, more money, 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 money. And I never see her really giving back except when she wanted to have a trip to the white house because her husband did. And so there's a picture of her in the Oval Office, and she's all, you know, proud. And it's because she helped to get someone out of prison. <laughs> Sorry. I kicked. and Okay. So that was awesome that she did that. But why doesn't she continue to do that? She just did it that one time just so she could get to the White House? I don't know. I just... Ugh. Okay, but... The only thing I like about China, which is like pretty much nothing except this, is that the Kardashians almost didn't continue because of her. And I think that's the reason why E either canceled them or they canceled E. I'm not sure. But they made a deal with Hulu and now they're just stuck. We're stuck with them forever. Oh my God. I can't even with them. I can't even with them. Uh, I think of so many people suffering and struggling in, in the world. And then this shit, this shit's going on. So she kept saying in text messages, like our show, we don't want you on our show. No, my show anymore. That's what she said. My show. And she says that, um, uh, text to speech, speech to text. Sorry. She meant our show. We don't want you on our show anymore. And so that was stupid back and forth. And then she's like, well, it was Rob's show anyways. And so we didn't want 
her on Rob show or whatever. It's just a mess, you know, with the knives and the gun and the strangling, with, you know, and I guess there's a, yeah, a knife. That's what I just said. There was a knife involved where she cut him. And that was even before, I guess, she got pregnant and they had a baby. So this bitch is so fucking crazy. I don't care what anyone says. She's a gold digger. She's violent and crazy. And now she's thinking, well, I didn't get mine. And so I am going to go after them and she's going to, she wants to try to win in court. Good luck with that. She's trying to say that she had all these opportunities that were lost because of the Kardashians canceling her. And, um, they should have probably canceled Rob before he even got involved with this bitch. You know what I mean? Like if you're famous, like they are for no fucking reason, other people are going to want to be famous for no fucking reason too. So they're going to be drawn to the Kardashians and they're going to be like, you know, even if they're just, even if they're already kind of known for something, but not universally, let's say, you know, like Lamar, um, I didn't know who the fuck that was. I'm not into sports, but because of the Kardashians, everybody knows who he is, you know? And so, yeah, like, Pete Davidson, Davidson, he only dates people that will get him even more famous. He's a fame whore. He is. He, <laughs> every single woman he dates has to be like superstar status. I think this is the only one that I could think of that um, doesn't really have talent. You know, she's talented for being not talented. Because, you know, I think of Cindy Crawford's daughter and I think of... Um, I was it saying Ariana Grande he dated the list goes on and on and they're all like way too good for him because I don't think he's that funny or attractive he must have a really big cock I'm thinking that's all I can think of so other than that yeah no nobody in that family has like real talent like legitimate talent but that's not what's in today what's in today is how much money can we have and make for doing the bare minimum? Can you just photo, can you just put a camera on me and let me just do whatever the fuck I do? And that's what they do. They don't do anything really. I mean, if you think about it, what do they really do on their show? It's a show about nothing like Seinfeld was supposed to be. Okay. So the only thing I like about Black China is that she almost took down the Kardashians, you know, she almost took down that show, but I have to give Kim that I will give Kim this because she's a grifter and kind of a sociopath because she doesn't, it doesn't seem like she has emotions. Like she doesn't feel anything. I've never seen her laugh hysterically or why well, actually I did see her, uh, her ugly cry, but it was for herself. It wasn't like, what does she cry about? Oh, I can't even remember. Something, it probably was had to do with Kanye. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but it, it could have been fake crying. Who knows? All I know is that she doesn't seem human to me. She doesn't look human. None of them do. None of them look human. They're like dolls, like robotic dolls. And so I think she's smart because she's, she's street smart. She's a hustler. That's what she is. She only cares about money. She only cares about fame. She could not handle it if the camera was not on her. And she reached on to Paris at one point and said, I'll be your assistant. I just want to be on the show. And so Paris had her on the show and that's where, she, where it all started. And then she saw Paris do a sex tape. She's like, oh my God, I'm going to do a sex tape. And there you go. We've been fucked ever since. <laughs> and so all, all of these other people that they're doing shows on like people like China. I'm just going to call her China. She wanted a piece of that. And these bitches took it from her. That's what she's thinking. And they canceled her and they're like, fuck you. You try to kill Rob. And, um, she did legit, legitimately speaking as far as like what I've heard. I think she really did try to kill Rob. And it's not funny, but okay. After the first time with the knife incident, 
why wouldn't they get Rob in some therapy? Because this bitch is crazy, right? So why would you allow him as a parent, even though he's a grown man, but he's a public figure? And that family is supposed to, you know, supposed to be very close. They needed an intervention with Rob and they needed to say, you know what? This is not going to work. This, this woman is, she doesn't have any class. She's gangsta. She pulled a knife on you. She cut you. I mean, it's just really bad. And uh, so she does that. Then there's, a, then there's something else that happened. She put a gun to his head and then, oh, it's funny. It's isn't that funny? You know, me putting a gun to your head. Yeah, that's freaking hilarious. And then another incident with the cord, you know, the phone cord, she's tying around his head. I think it's a charging cord. Yeah. Cause then nobody has phone cords, cords anymore. So yeah. So there was quite a few of those incidents. So why not get him the fuck out of that after the first, after the second, you know, how many times do they not love him enough? Is, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, all of them really like stick by each other. But when it comes to Rob, they totally fuck him over. They don't really have his back. They never really have. Rob's always been kind of a tag along. He's the only male in that whole family. Cause you know, there used to be, you know, the dad, you know, I'm not going to Caitlin. I'm not going to even get into that. But now, now Caitlin's, you know, a female obviously. And so Rob is the only man really, except for the, you know, the kids and whoever they're dating, whoever the baby daddies are. But I just feel like they should have been more protective of Rob. And the fact that they allowed him to be around someone that was trying, trying to kill him is not okay. And I guarantee you it's because they didn't want to lose their freaking show. It's all about money. You know, I just, that's the part I don't understand. Is that, is that more important? It is obviously. I think we all know that. Uh, in one message from February, 2017, the keeping up with the Kardashians alum, I don't even know why they say that wrote that she needed a small break from filming until you guys figure out what you're going to do. China will not, China will not be on our show. And it's actually putting my brother in bad position because he ends up crying all day saying the only reason why China showed up was because she was filming. Kim wrote. And that's sad too, because we, they all know, everybody knows that she only was with him for the fake fame. I mean, I don't, it's not legitimate fame. It's not like, I don't know. I think of, I think of people, a woman like Lady Gaga who could sing, dance, everything, act. She kicked ass in the house of Gucci. She's so freaking fabulous. And I'm not even into her music. She's so talented. She's worked so hard. There's so many women like that. And then there's the Kardashians. I'm just sick of people like this. And so China, take your Gucci, take your Prada, whatever you got from them and get the fuck out of it. Just move the fuck on. She's such a gold digger and she's so nasty. Uh, when asked whether the message was sent in an attempt to kill a potential second season of E's Robin China, I didn't even know there was a first one. Kim insisted it only referred to her wishes to temporarily step away from the cameras. I can't control the content of what they film, but this is our show. Okay. Why would we film with her? <laughs> See, I can't even be mad at her. I can't be mad at her because she tried to kill her brother. She's, it does, she doesn't care about that. I really don't believe any of them really give a shit. I think it's, she doesn't want China, she didn't want China ruining their fucking, their shit, you know, getting them dirty, you know, playing in the mud. You know what I mean? It's, it had nothing to do with Rob. I really believe that. I don't think Chris really cares she, she pimps out all her kids, but she couldn't find a way to pimp him out, but she could, if he was with China and you know, she could give them their own show because that's how powerful they are. It's here, here you have a show. So China's right about that. If they didn't want her to have a second season, she wasn't going to get a second season. So 
she probably should have not tried to kill Rob. Maybe. I don't know. It says, I really don't know what they were filming for, Rob and China, beyond what the when the fight happened. Clearly something happened. The following month, Kim sent a text telling a producer that China 33 can have no false hope that she's on our show before asking, is she getting paid? Okay, I kind of don't hate Kim for this. Um, yes, okay, she's so entitled, so spoiled. Uh, she has every single thing that I really despise in a human being. That says a lot. But the fact that she was, she was basically saying, China, you are, she's not getting paid. Fuck this bitch. She's not coming on our show. Does she, is she going to get paid for this? I don't think so. That she, that's kind of what she said. And then she said, Kardashian claimed she never had the power to cancel a second season of Robin China. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Hmm. According to Kim, she was attempting to, to be transparent and set real, realistic expectations for who would be appearing on her, the show. I'm not going to go into the whole name. Hmm. And Sissy had nothing to do with China, with China show and with Rob. Clearly, if I'm asking if China is getting paid, I have no knowledge if she was getting paid on our show. Kim told, yeah, she's told, she talked on the stand. You were informing the producers if China was on the show, you weren't going to film anymore. So yeah, she does have control. If Kim's going, okay, well, if she's on it, I'm not doing it. There you go. No second season for China and Rob. They could film what they want. We don't have the power as you have been insinuating, Kim said. <sighs> I was just expressing that I was taking a break from filming to ex assess how I'm feeling. I will not go into work in a toxic environment. I can only control what I can do, what is, uh, which is to take a break. Is it really a toxic environment? If I don't know, whatever. I don't know. When asked about the rowdy fight between her brother and China, Kim recalled Rob being so upset. I remember only just trying to be supportive of my brother. I remember him being super emotional. It's all such a blur. Mother Chris previously shared how traumatized she was of Rob and China's fight. I just don't believe they really care. You know, it's hard for me because it's not like this relationship was stable the whole time. That It's been going on for a while. Mm. Okay, so she kind of threatened the producers. So... Because of their big fight, because of China, Black China, she emailed one of the executive producers. We are even considering not moving forward with our show if theirs continues. That's how strongly we feel this is damaging our family. No, it's damaging the brand. It didn't do shit to the family. They don't give a fuck. It's the brand. They don't want to damage their brand. And China was doing that. So they're like, fuck off you're canceled. All right. So that's, that's what's up. This is when Sianna, Hiana asked Chloe if she had the right to control China's talent agreement. Chloe replied, we have no control over that. We feel strongly about a lot of things, but it doesn't mean that we will, they will listen to us. Chloe said, they already testified that we had no control over that. Bullshit. They have control because if they say we're not going to film, isn't that control? If you let them have the show, we're not doing ours anymore. Yeah, that's, that says a lot. It says a lot. All right, I can't even believe I'm talking about this. I really despise this family. <laughs> Everything they stand for, I, I just can't. Ugh. So they're fighting back and forth. I might as well go back to talking about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case because that's 
a lot more interesting than this because this is just about a bunch of Kardashians ganging up on China and uh, it just uh okay I feel better I had to use uh, uh. <laughs> so yeah hopefully you know what I don't give a fuck I don't care who wins there's a part of me that's like, you know what? I hope China wins because they need to be taken down a little bit. I mean, not much, obviously, but she did have to put up with that family for a while. And she still does because they have a kid together. So there is that part of me that's like, but she did, she did attempt to kill Rob more than once. And I just feel like Rob is just this, he's like a sitting duck. You know, that's how she got him to begin with. He just seems like innocent kind of and lost and stuck with all these women that are just money hungry and I don't feel like he's the same as them that must be weird to just be stuck in that family like that and yes it's benefited him a lot because he's you know he lives that lifestyle I think but um then there's another part of me that's like I don't want this bitch to get free shit to get free money for doing nothing but trying to kill Rob, you know? So it's, I don't like any of them. Let me just say that, except Rob, maybe I feel sorry for him a little, you know, he did suffer abuse from this crazy bitch. All right, so that's that. <laughs> Can't believe I'm talking about this at four, four in the morning now, damn. And I'm just tore up. I, I gotta get to bed. All right, so I will come back maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll talk about, you know, Johnny and Amber. There's some juicy stuff to talk about. All right. Peace out.